Welcome to Death Geek. So we did our video on Linux gaming yesterday and getting a lot of replies and passionate responses on that. And I think that's fantastic. There's definitely a lot of discussion there. I ended up picking up this Steam link. You know, Steam has been undoubtedly, unquestionably a huge advocate for Linux and their own Steam OS being a Linux based operating system really shows that and this was a Black Friday deal on Amazon I believe for $20 and I've avoided buying one of these because with kids and everything it's kind of hard to ever game and $50 was probably just a little too much for me in, in the gaming that I'm able to do with kids you know around TVs and things I can come upstairs and game but it's pretty hard and my normal desk that I do these reviews on is completely filled with a soldering project that I'm working on to create a dice circuit board. So you have to uh, bear with me here as we're, we're using my regular computer desktop as our review table. But this is the Steam Link and this will work with Linux, uh, I'm told, as well as, of course, Windows. Uh, via Steam and you can stream your games to different areas of your house so you could stream your game from your Steam account your computer to this little device plays on your screen and we'll show some uh, demonstrations of that this is really just kind of an unboxing uh, to see what you get in here and I'm pretty excited about this so play all your Steam games on TV uh, what it shows here and you can see how quick and easy that setup's supposed to be. The box is pretty heavy. I'm interested to see what's inside here. So let's get rid of all this packaging junk. Really nice demonstration here by Steam for the boxes. For those that you, of you that like boxes, I could care less. Um, pretty hefty device actually for its size. I expected it to be a lot lighter, but it's a pretty heavy device. Would be pretty difficult to knock off of a. Um, TV cabinet, pretty stable, it's got nice rubberized soft material down here, probably to keep it from slipping as well. And in the back it looks like we have, it's hard to get oriented on this camera, two USB ports, Ethernet, HDMI, power, there we go. I'll get this down. So very nice, let's see what else we get in our box here. So we got a quick start guide, product link guide. Okay, so you get several different adapters for your AC. It comes with an HDMI cable as well. I think that's pretty awesome that they include that. And we get our Ethernet Cat5 cable here. Very, very cool that they include all of that. So that's everything in the box. All right, so we've got it connected to the TV, and the TV is way high on the mantle, so with the sound, my voice is not very good. That's why. It's not the ideal setup, but we are packing away to move, so a lot of my gear is packed away. Now, when I tried to use the Xbox One controller, I had nothing but issues. It seemed to constantly be fighting the mouse upstairs versus the controller controlling the mouse. And I think it believes that it's a Steam controller, even though obviously it's not. And it tries to interact as if it was being able to control the mouse with the actual sticks, etc. Now that I went and I plugged in, you know, a very cheap, mind you, uh, Bluetooth based one dongle controls the mouse and the keyboard. Uh, it recognized it right away and things seem to be going well. So now I want to show you, you know, play the game here some. I'm going to restart this checkpoint and show you the lag or any issues that you may see there. When I initially loaded the game, it did not run this smooth, but that I had just freshly installed it, and now in the second run through, it's running very, very smooth, at least at the moment.
So you can see I played through that entire scenario. There was zero lag. Somebody's still shooting at me. All right. Let's try that again. <laughs> you can see I played through that scenario with absolutely no lag. Things went very, very well. Even though I did get the warning at the beginning when I hooked up Steam that my Wi-Fi may not be fast enough, even though it's with an eye shot of the TV, everything seemed to work well once I'm in it. Using a regular Xbox controller does not seem to work well. There may be some settings inside of the Steam box. I could not find them in a quick view to make it more compatible with an Xbox controller, but certainly this would leave credence to either using a keyboard and mouse, which you can use any variety cheap keyboard and mouse combination like I have, or getting the Steam OS controller, which I'm sure works fantastic. So overall, I can see this being a lot of fun, being able to stream your games directly to your television in any room that you're at. There seems to be little quirks here and there, where things don't quite kick off right and I attribute a lot of those first quirks that I have to trying to use an Xbox controller which I thought would be a compatible controller. Uh, it does say in the manual some controllers are not compatible. I didn't look at the list but I assume being that that's the major controller most people use on a PC that that would be one that's included. In any case I think this is a very powerful fun tool for $20 on a Black Friday deal, you can't go wrong. You could probably find them for about that price used. At the $50 mark, I still think this is worth the price of entry. You can have a lot of fun with it. If you're in a competitive game, however, if you're playing a competitive game like League of Legends or something like that, I would not recommend it because I think there's going to be too much lag and issues there. Uh, but for sitting on the couch doing a first-person shooter, emulating that console experience where you can eat some Cheetos and, and play some games, this is right where it's at. This is obviously running on my Linux machine, so it works perfectly. Right now I have Manjaro installed, so it's an Arch Linux base, um, but runs perfectly fine within Steam, as you can see here, having no issues. So I would give this a 4 out of 5. I think it could easily be a 5 out of 5 geek squeal worthy level with a few little tweaks and enhancements and uh, maybe some support for some other controllers and things but outside of that this is pretty rock solid i love it i'm gonna keep it for twenty dollars how could i not and i'm gonna check out getting one of those steam controllers i played with them a little bit in fries but i don't know if i can get used to it but it may be worth a shot now and uh, see how those have come along we'll do a review on that so until next time hope you've enjoyed the review let me know if you use the steam link and if you've loved it or you had one of those initial really bad experiences and hate it let me know in the comments down below thank you guys for all the support until next time get out there and fill your brains Don't watch the video.